Could this one device be the device that the electric companies probably do not want you to have? Well, maybe. If anything, it's definitely going to help you cut some of the fat off of your electric bill. This is the Sense, and its only one job is to monitor all of the electronic devices in your house and tell you how much they're going to cost you on your upcoming electric bill. Surprisingly, inside the box, there really isn't a lot of components. There is the Sense itself, a couple of amp clamps that you put around the main leads coming into your fuse panel. There's a Wi-Fi antenna, a bracket that you may or may not need. This is if you have to mount this unit outside your fuse panel, you can use this mount. In other words, you just set the box in the bottom of the fuse panel, and then there's a power lead. Other than that, there's a few manuals and pieces of paperwork here. That's it. That's all, all there is to this unit. It basically does all of its monitoring through these amp clamps. Now the theory is, since it's monitoring the amps on each leg coming into the house, each device you use has kind of a signature, it's kind of a, a pattern, and those patterns are sent back to the Sense database, they go through everything they have, and they see if they have something that resembles that signal. So when your fridge turns on and it uses a compressor, they'll research that signal in the database, if they find a match or something that looks similar, it'll come back to the app and it'll say, hey, we have found a device and we're now going to monitor it. In theory, it looks pretty cool, but does it work? Installation was relatively straightforward. Though I recommend you use a qualified electrician to install your unit, I did install mine myself. That being said, I do have an electronics background. Now basically, inside you'll find these clamps, and you need to clamp one to each leg of the electric coming into your panel. There's also another connection. You have to power it with 220, so I just tied it to an existing breaker panel. I believe the instruction says to use an empty one. If you have it, use a small one. I don't have any spares. You can see my panel is relatively full, so I just tied on to an existing uh, breaker for now. And then the unit itself has an antenna wire that comes out, and you just poke it through the side. That is your Wi-Fi connection. Other than that, that's it. You power it on. It does a little chime. That chime lets you know that you're ready to use your app to configure it. Now, I couldn't get mine to chime again because it's already configured, or you would have had a chance to hear that. I do want to show you that once you get your panel back on and everything back together, really the only thing different is you have this little antenna on the outside. A quick disclaimer here, the spaghetti mess, eh, that was left by Spectrum on a recent cable install. Guess I need to go back and clean that mess up. Thank you, Spectrum. Now when you first open Sense, you're greeted with kind of these little bubbles. You can see that this one that says always on says that I'm using 190 watts pretty much continuously around the clock. Sense wasn't able to label them, but Sense does know that they're always on. Now we leave some fans and ceiling fans and the computers on. I'm assuming some of the devices are that. That's what always on is. It has found a dehumidifier in a freezer. You can see the dehumidifier is using 439 watts when it's on, and the freezer is only using 77 watts. It's a pretty efficient freezer. Everything in this other bubble, over 1,000 watts right now, is pretty much unlabeled. Sense wasn't able to figure out what they are, and it's just kind of grouped all of those devices in one big other bubble. The Trends tab is pretty much where all the data is, or at least a lot of the data, the quick glance data. So if we go into Usage, you can see that you can drill down by the day, the week, the month, or the year. And at the bottom, you can scroll up and down and see what devices are using what. So the dehumidifier in this case is using 12.2%, and maybe I want to dial that down a little bit and save a little bit on money. The water heater is using 11.3%. Maybe it's time for a more efficient water heater. This is kind of what these tools are for, so you can see how much each device in your house is costing you. Maybe replacing it or repairing it might save you some money. It's very handy. In the Compare tab, you can see this family is an overachiever. We are above average on wattage compared to other Sense users. And then there's a power meter tab on the bottom, and it's pretty handy too. It shows you pretty much at any given time how much wattage you were using. You can zoom in and out on this. And then as you slide it around, you can see how much power you were using at any given time. Now this blank spot, we actually had a, a power failure today, and that's what the blank spot is. So ignore that, but you can definitely dial through here and see what your wattage usage was. The device tab shows you all of the devices that Sense has detected. So in mine, it's not a whole lot. I've had Sense for about three weeks now, and it quite honestly has not found a lot of devices. It has found some. Uh, some of them I'm surprised it hasn't found. We do have four garage door openers, and it's only found two of those. 
Um, it has found a heat one and heat two, which I believe is actually our heat pump, or I think each one of those might be an element, or maybe it's a compressor. It doesn't really know what they are. You can merge them once you figure it out. But these are basically everything that is found. Anything that is in green is what is on right now. It also shows you at quick glance how many watts is being used to the right. Anything that is gray is off, but it is a device that is found. The settings section is relatively straightforward. There is an area of notifications. I'm just kind of scroll through here so you can see some of the settings. And there's also, when you go into the My Home tab, you can connect other devices to this. So we'll take a look at those settings. So if you have any of these, you can kind of integrate them into the system. And then there is a billing cycle start date and your electricity cost. Now these I had to enter myself so that Sense can kind of figure out what my bill is going to look like. And it also needs to know how much kilowatts or how much money per kilowatts you're using so it can estimate the cost of items. Seeing how in the literature I found this page with great big wording, that makes me think that they really want you to read this. Basically it says, and I'm just going to read this, Sense uses machine learning to model the unique electrical signatures of individual devices in your home. It will take time for Sense to collect enough data to be able to sift through the noise and distinguish unique devices. So hang tight, Sense is learning. I want to talk about that. The first couple of nights that I turned Sense on, it really didn't find anything. And then about the third day, Every morning I would get an email, a notification that would come in and say, Sense found some devices. And over the course of about three weeks, it kind of found what I showed you in the list. It really hasn't found any more, which is kind of disappointing. So for the most part, Sense kind of works as sold. However, there are some places where it fails, and I want to talk about the stove specifically. So each burner is an independent device that Sense finds. Two of these burners are exactly the same burner. So Sense really doesn't know if this burner is on or this burner, but that's okay. You can merge all of the burners that it does find into one unit, such as the oven completely. So the burners in the oven, it finds independently as well. So basically you have all of these individual burners that it found, you merge them all together, and in theory, when you're using your oven over the course of a month, you can find out how much it's costing you. Where I think it fails is some minor things. There's definitely some phantom power going on inside here, since it doesn't really find the smaller electronics. The same with microwaves. It knows when the microwave's on, but it doesn't ever find the sensitive electronics that are on all the time. My dehumidifier is exactly the same. It's running a fan right now, but since it doesn't see it, it only sees it when the compressor inside the unit turns on. So this phantom load of the fan that's running, since it doesn't tag, it just kind of throws it in that other large gray, gray blob of other stuff being used. So I really don't know how much this unit really is costing me. It's more of a guess. And since has yet found any ceiling fan, or any lamps, or any devices that just don't use a lot of energy. So again, it's not really going to give you enough information to know what every device in your house is using. It also doesn't want to find my car charger. Now this is a Voltec charger. These have been around for a long time. This charges my Chevy Volt. Since it doesn't really see it. I assume it's because it's a variable charge. It's constantly adjusting itself as it's charging the car. And there's probably no way Sense can just see a signature from it. So for me, Sense does not do what I need. I actually bought it so I could watch this car charger and determine how much energy I was using. And it did kind of give me a rough idea, but not with any accuracy that uh, satisfies my curious mind. You can buy Sense on Amazon. I'll put a link down below. And like I said, it really depends on what you're looking for if Sense makes sense for you. If you want something that's really detailed and really drills down into what each device in your house is going to cost, I don't think it's there yet. But if you just want kind of a general understanding of what things are going to cost you, yeah, I think it does that. I normally do a lot of do-it-yourself type videos, but occasionally I sneak a review in like I did this video here. Take a look at some of my other videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and eh, you might be entertained.